Dr. Mark Dirksen is a pioneer of the information age in family practice. His clinic has been using electronic medical records, or EMRs, for the last 11 years. Uh, on each patient encounter, I have a window popping up to me that is individualized to the patient, so based on their age and sex and whether they have any chronic problems, on which indicators I should be looking at. Uh, when I last looked at them, uh, a quick snapshot of what the results have been, and then that prompts me where I should put my focus on. And you are nursing if it's still safe to take it. As part of Manitoba's Physician Integrated Network, his clinic is also one of the first in Canada to build quality measurement directly into physicians' practices with primary health care indicators. I think we've gained access to new information that we haven't had before, and so that has a bit of a pioneering feel to it. In the past, we had just the patient visit. Now we've got an overview of our practices. The indicators were developed by the Canadian Institute for Health Information in partnership with clinicians. They allow primary care providers to use data from electronic medical records to measure and monitor many aspects of their practice. Before this, Dirksen says his group practice had no systematic way of knowing how they were doing for prevention and screening of chronic diseases. Measurement's been a good motivator. Prior to having the indicators, uh, I was not screening for colon cancer. So in the process of developing the indicators, I guess I learned that screening for colon cancer would be good. At the beginning, um, I had a screening rate of about 7% and track that over a two-year period, and so I'm up to 57%. That gives me a good sense that um, I've learned something, I've been able to apply it, and I can see the results. This is a list of the indicators, and as you can see there's... We can't demonstrate quality unless we have indicators against which we can measure. So we adopted those indicators and certainly learned a lot. Uh, as soon as you start introducing indicators, it also increases awareness as to the issues and potential changes one could make in a practice in achieving targets around chronic disease management. It's definitely changed the visit. So it gives me a good feeling that uh, I am practicing better medicine. Because I can look at the numbers, it gives me a sense that I can see progress, and that's always encouraging.